You know what? I'm glad I skipped the WWE's Greatest Royal Rumble. I'm absolutely glad I did. I had no intentions of watching it beforehand. When the day, the moment in time came, I said, no, I'm good. And based off of what I read in terms of the results, I don't feel like I missed a whole lot, if we're being real. And the reality is, it feels like there will only really ever be one truly memorable thing about this show, and I've been able to see that dozens upon dozens of times, thanks to the glory of the internet and social media. So that five second clip of Titus O'Neil gave me all that I needed. I could skip most of the rest of the five hours. This whole concept of the greatest Royal Rumble, it's all this stupid stuff about the WWE continuing. We want to make history. We want to do bigger and better and badder than ever and all this other dumb crap. We're going to have a 50 man Royal Rumble. Like who in the hell wants to watch that? I know wrestling nerds. Well, this wrestling nerd did not. I did not want to sit there on a Friday afternoon of all damn things. Friday afternoon. Burn said entire Friday afternoon watching a largely inconsequential damn wrestling show when I just had a really long ass wrestling show a few weeks ago with WrestleMania. These big shows are all way too damn long. No, thank you. I'm good. Especially when I see they go to freaking Saudi Arabia. They go to an entirely different place where they maybe felt like they could better control the environment. And after all of this time, they still didn't put the belt on freaking Roman Reigns. This feels like the Grim Reaper from Bill and Ted's bogus journey. After Bill and Ted get thrown off the cliff by the bad robot usses. They fucking... And they beat Death in Battleship after he gets them out of hell. And after they beat him in Battleship, he says, Ah, two out of three. And then they beat him. And what was it? Either the Electronic Football or Twister. And he says, Best three out of five. Then after they lose again, he sa they say, Best four out of seven. Death says, Damn straight. That's what it feels like. How many damn opportunities are you going to give to still not put the belt on him? It is all one ginormous waste of damn time. Either crap or get off the pot with the dude truly. You didn't have the balls to do it at WrestleMania, which was stupid. Then you go here and give Roman a rematch that frankly he didn't deserve because he didn't win straight up at WrestleMania. Just because he's freaking Roman, he gets a title shot and then he still doesn't win? And then the finish that I saw like a highlight of, looked all types of freaking off and stupid. No, I'm good. I had no interest in this show on a freaking Friday afternoon, especially on NFL Draft Weekend. I was going to eat up my entire damn Friday afternoon for a lot of largely inconsequential wrestling. I had absolutely no interest in sitting there and watching another way too damn long ass show with a 50 man battle royal. I had no interest in supporting this show that was nothing more than a pathetic cash grab for the WWE. We all know why they did it. They got a shit ton of money from the Saudi Arabian government. And I guess to be fair to the WWE, if the US government's gonna continue to sell out to the Saudis all in the name of that oil bitches, they might as well sell out to their principles and everything else to get a massive freaking payout. I just had a fundamental problem with supporting a show where the women weren't allowed to participate. Yet I'm the sexist here, and I'm the this, and I'm the pig, and the chauvinist, and all that crap. But we're all the people, as I talked about in the video before, that are outraged about this. Y'all got mad about a freaking pre-show battle royal WrestleMania being named after the fabulous Moolah, and if we're calling it legit here, the Saudi government, the Saudi society, has done far worse things to women than freaking Moolah has. And if you're Saudi and if you don't like it, that's tough shit. Because that is true and you fucking know it. I don't sit there and disagree when you talk about all the bad, dumb, horrendous crap 
that this society here in the U.S., this government, its people have done over the decades, the generations, and the centuries. Because it's true! If you can't accept some of the bad about your society, then stop being so damn insecure, or take your goddamn blinders off and stop being such an idiotic sheep and accept the reality. And even for WWE, it's like, if this was a few years ago, where they were just putting the women on TV for two-minute random-ass matches, and they truly didn't give a crap about the women, then frankly, who cares? Who cares? Because they, they're they at least being consistent. But this is not consistency. This is the height of hypocrisy. You talk all this crap about women mattering, talking about this women's revolution, like you all of a sudden magically invented women's freaking wrestling. You're potentially building up to two women in Rousey and Charlotte Flair main eventing WrestleMania next year. Yet you give no craps about that at all. So that way Vince and a bunch of the other fucking boys could dress up in shirt and ties and eat dinner with some of the damn royal fucking family and sit there and get a massive fucking payout. Screw that. I have no interest in supporting that. I had no interest in watching this damn show. The only thing that good that comes out of this is there's an opportunity here to push Titus O'Neil to the moon. Get him a glitter spray painted damn helmet and let's go to work. Let's make some merch and make him a star. But other than that, five hours of this crap on a Friday afternoon. Nah, I'm good.